guys thank you so much for dropping by my channel and today I'm doing a requested video I know I haven't done a grocery haul in a while like I'll show you guys what all I picked up at the grocery but right now I'm going to do a what's in my pantry to share with you guys now this is the baker's rack that I have behind me whenever I do my videos and right now I have some canned goods over here some of this uh, seasoning and some more canned goods over there and they're like pork and beans, canned soup, canned tomato, canned fruit, canned ravioli and canned vegetables and this also houses my candles and my accessories and it also has a few of these um, other snacks now I'm just going to show you guys certain portions of the kitchen that have food and this is for all of us here in the house, like six people, sometimes seven, sometimes eight, it just all depends. But yeah, this is it for this corner and I'm going to cover you guys because I don't want you guys to get dizzy. Alright, now over here I have some crackers and some peanut butter and these are my dinner plates and yeah, these are my dinner plates and I put them in here with the crackers. It's a filing cabinet. Then over here I have cases of water and then I have um, some chips over here on this side. And this is the pantry to the right, and it has some seasonings, and some more honey seasonings, some tea, some stuff for coffee, some hamburger helpers, and I know there's a bunch of mac and cheese back there, and some potato. It's all back there. And this one's the coffee and some hot cocoa, some Pam, some more oatmeal, some, some more tea, and some mashed potato. And down here I labeled them canned veggies. So any, any veggie that I have like tomato sauce, green beans, mixed veggies, spinach, anything canned for spaghetti sauce, things like that would be over here. Then over here I labeled it spices, so all of my spices will be here. But I also have a spice drawer. And this is some of the spices that I have. That's not, this is like backup. So it's here like sugar, black pepper like that over here's the sugar and the box of cereal and this is a bin full of bread it has the hoagies the bagels the muffin the surly some rice cakes and taco shells it's just random things some flat bread pita bread and over there's the pancake mix and then over here is a big bin of rice. There's all rice in there. And then over here is my like vinegar seasoning, hot sauce, soy sauce, and things like that. Then over here on the bottom, I have some more canned goods like the soups and the pastas. And then I have my potatoes, and I think I have sweet potatoes and crackers, and then mayo, and then some canned meats, some sardines, um, peppers, and then I have my onions. I have to clean it out, that's what I'm showing you guys. Um, probably some of these potatoes have gone bad, so I'll 
need to check the, the oil. These are all backups in here. And then there's some more way under there. Over here is oops, um, my breakfast pancake mix, cornstarch, baking stuff, pretty much. Uh, condensed milk, sugar, pancake syrup, um, jellies, things like that. It's all in this side. So it's kind of like the sweet, sweet stuff for cooking. And then over here is my drinks, like my wine, um, the cooking wine, the orange, everything hot sauce and the wine glasses they're here like these ones because I don't want them to drop up there so I put them way down here in the bottom and then over here's the glen granola door and usually this is the fave the regular this one's assorted it has chocolate chunks has s'mores, peanut butter, and all that. But this is like the regular door, and I try to keep this um, some stuff in there. Full. I try to keep it full. Now over here, I've labeled it canned bread for making bread, canned beans, canned fruits and canned soups so whatever's back there in the very back they're canned soups whatever's over here they're canned veggie or canned fruits the other one's soup and the, these are some more of the beans which is when we make chili and things like that up here's the ramen noodles and then up here's a canned tuna and some spaghetti noodles to make spaghetti noodles and then some of these pasta, the orzo, and I also have the egg noodle kind of pasta, and yeah, and that's for that cabinet. Now, since I'm already here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the freezer. So, this is our freezer, we have a small freezer, we don't have an ice machine. So what I do is uh, I have a ice cube tray and I just fill up this bucket with the ice cube trays once it gets frozen. And I have fruits in here like apples, raspberries, and then I have meats and also bread. So it's kind of sort of freezer. It's not really just for meat or just for whatever. It's the only freezer I got. I don't have anything else. And that is all I have for this one. Now this one is the bottom part. And we have some sweet peppers. Some dip. Shrimp paste. Some more tomatoes. Thing of eggs. Carrots. Milk. Milk, milk, milk. That one's coffee. When we make coffee, we jar it up in the mason jar. These are all cut up peppers and bread and cucumber. And then over here is some more chopped salad. And then up here is some meat, some more eggs. And that's the butter. So I'll probably clean it up here after a while. And then over here on the bottom, I only have this for water because I like my water cold and whoever else likes cold water we always keep that one cold and the rest is sitting up there. And here's an assortment. There's cheese, there's start out meat, some summer sausages, the butters, the margarine, the um, Philly cheese and some other stuff. Anyway, but that's like a catch up. But yeah, that is it, you guys. That is all I have for my pantry and refrigerator quick share. Hope you guys enjoyed. 
And yeah, since I don't do the grocery haul, I figured I'd do this. And it's pretty much um, the same things I pick up. But that one's a coffee creamer, and then there's another one. So I have like usually two or three in, in here to keep going. But that's what all we usually have. But yeah, please don't forget to subscribe. Click my links for updates, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!